on the face of August, the weather of unfair unto Brick fair I did repair, for love I was inclined. I got up with the lark in the morning, with me heart so full of glee, expecting near to meet my dear long time I'd wish to see. As I walked out one midsummer's morning For to view the fields and to take the air Down by the banks of the sweet primroses There I beheld a most lovely fair Three long steps I stepped up to her not knowing her as she passed me by, I stepped up to her, thinking for to view her. She appeared to me like some virtuous bride. I said, fair maid, where are you going? For what's the occasion for all your grief? I will make you as happy as any lady If you will grant me once more a leave She said, stand off, you are deceitful You are deceitful and a false young man It is you that's caused my poor heart for to wander and to give me comfort lies all in vain. I'll go down in some lonesome valley where no man on earth shall e'er me find, where the pretty little small birds do change their voices and every moment blows blusterous wine. Come all young men that go a-courting, Pray, pay attention to what I say. There is many a dark and a cloudy morning Turns out to be a sunshiny day.
It's of a young squire who rode out one day By chance his lady love did meet Twas down in the lane that led to Broomfield Hill With these words his lady he did greet A wager, a wager with you pretty maid my one hundred pounds to your ten That a maid you shall go into yonder green broom But a maid you shall never return A wager, a wager with you kind sir Your one hundred pounds to my ten that a maid I shall go into yonder green broom, and a maid I shall boldly return. And when she arrived down in yonder green broom, she found her love fast asleep, dressed in fine silken hose with a new suit of clothes. And a bunch of green broom at his feet. Then nine times did she go to the soles of his feet, Nine times to the crown of his head, And nine times she kissed his cherry red lips, As he lay on his green mossy bed. Then she took a gold ring from off of her hand And placed it on his right thumb And that was to let her true love to know That his lady had been there and gone Then nine times did she go to the crown of his head Nine times to the soles of his feet And nine times she kissed his cherry red lips As he lay on the ground fast asleep And when he awoke from out of his sleep T'was then that he counted the cost for he knew that his true love had been there and gone, and he thought of the wager he had lost. He called three times for his horse and his man, the horse that he bought so dear, saying, Why didn't you wake me out of my sleep? When my lady, my true love, was here. O oh, master, I called on to you three times, And three times I blew on my own, But I could not wake you from out of your sleep. Till your lady, your true love, had gone. Farewell and adieu to her loved one in gloom. Farewell to the birds on Broomfield Hill. A maid she did go into yonder green broom. And a maid she remains forever still.
Now some say your pin's lousy, I don't believe it's true. For we only go down our pin to pick a hop or two with my T-I-O, T-I-O, T-I-E-I-O. Now when I went a hopping, hopping down in Kent, I saw old Mother Riley a sweeping out her tent with my T-I-O, T-I-O, T-I-E-I-O. Every Monday morning, just at six o'clock, you'll hear the old hoppers calling, get up and boil your pots with my T-I-O, T-I-O, T-I-E-I-O. Now Sunday is a washing day, don't we wash it clean? We boil it in our hopping pots and hang it on the green with my T-I-O, T-I-O, T-I-E-I-O. Now do you want any money? Yes sir, if you please. To buy a hock of bacon and a pound of mouldy cheese with my T-I-O, T-I-O, T-I-E-I-O. Now here comes our old measurer with his long nose and chin, with his ten-gallon basket and don't he pop em in with my T-I-O, T-I-O, T-I-E-I-O. When our old popular he does come around, he says, come on you dirty old up pickers, pick em up all off the grounds with my T-I-O, T-I-O, T-I-E-I-O. Now hopping is all over, all the money spent, and don't I wish I never went a hopping down in Kent with my T-I-O, T-I-O, T-I-E-I-O. Oh, come on, you wild young man. A warning take by me. And never to lead your single life astray into no bad company. And never to lead your single life astray into no bad company. As I myself have done, twas in the merry month of May, when I was pressed by a sea captain on the board of man of water I were sent. When I was pressed by a sea captain on the board of man of water I were sent. We sailed on the ocean so wide, and our bonny, bonny plague we let fly. Let every man stand true to his gun, for the Lord knows who must die. Let every man stand true to his gun, for the Lord knows who must die. Our captain got wounded for sore, and so did the rest of his men. And our main mast rigging got scattered on board, so that we were obliged to give in. And our main mast rigging got scattered on board, so that we were obliged to give in. Our decks were all spattered with blood, and so loudly the 
cannon they did roar, and thousands of times have I wished myself a tone all along with me Polly on the shore. And thousands of times have I wished myself a tone all along with my Polly on the shore. She's a tall and a slender young girl. She's a dark and a rolling eye. And now here am I, lie bleeding on the deck. And for her sweet sake I'll die. And now here am I, lie bleeding on the deck. And for her sweet sake I will die. Here's a do to my father and my friend. Likewise, my dear old mother, too. I never showed a cross the sword sea so wide if I had a been ruled by her. I never showed a cross the sword sea so wide if I had a been ruled by her. Right, this is one of the old corpus tunes. <laughs> Come, all you jubal fellas, come listen to my song. It is a little ditty and it won't contain you long. It's of a fair young damsel, she lived down in Kent. Rose one summer's morning, she a nutting went. With my fellow, tell tell 
Wag for the dear old day, and what fair not said for gal that she strew them all away. She then came to young Johnny as he sit on his plough. She said, young man, I really feel I cannot tell you how. He took her to some shady broom, and there he laid her down. Says she, young man, I think I feel oh, I'll go round and round with my fall al timmy ral tell al wag for the dear old day. And what fair not said for gal that she strew them all away. It's all this fair young damsel, she was nothing in the wood. His voice was so melodious, it charmed her as she stood. She could no longer stay, and what fair not she had for gal, she strew them all away with my fell al timmy ral tell al wag for the dear old day. And what fair not said poor gal that she strew them all away. Now come all ye young women, this warning by me take. If you should a nothing go, please get home in time. For if you should stay till late to hear that ploughboy sing, you might have a young farmer to nurse up in the spring with my fell al timmy ral tell al Wag for the dear old day, and what fear not said poor gal that she strew them all away. All by my side 
And when we are in battle, we'll fight with sword in hand, and the silver drums will merry us sound for to drum all these more cries. Then when we get to Plymouth Town, a bait for you I love. It shall be covered in roses, and roses shall be red. And when your baby that are born sits smiling on your knee, of lovely William and I a Germany. A man came walking home one night He found his house be dead alive he walked upstairs to go to bed. Then the second thought came in his head. He walked into his daughter's room and found her hanging by the beam. He drawed a knife in cut her down and on her breast is what he found my love is for a sailor boy who sails across the deep blue sea so all you maidens Good and true, never change the old love for the new. Oh Lord, I wish my child was born, and all my troubles could be gone. So all you maidens, Good and true, never change your old love for the new.
Come on, ye young fellows, wheresoever you may be. Come listen a while to my story. When I was a young man, me age seventeen, I ought to have been serving Victoria, our Queen. But those hard-hearted judges, oh, how cruel they be, to send us poor lads to Australia. I fell in with a damsel, she was handsome and gay. I neglected my work more and more every day. And to keep her like a lady, I went on the highway. And for that I was sent to Australia. Now the judges, they stand with the whips in their hand. They drive us like horses to plough up the land. You should see us poor young fellows working in the jail yard. How hard is our fate in Australia? Australia, Australia, I would near see no more. Worn out with fever, cast down to death's door. But should I live to see, say, seven years more, I would then say adieu to Australia. A fair ship is mine, called the Golden Vanity. And she sails just now by the North Country. But I fear the chair be taken by a Spanish Galilee. As we sail by the lowlands low. By the lowlands low. As we sail by the lowlands low. What will you give to me, asked the little cabin boy, if I venture to that Spanish ship, the ship that doth annoy? I will wreck the Galilee, you may peace of mind enjoy, as we sail by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low. As we sail by the lowlands low, the captain said, Now with you, my lad, I'll share all my treasure and my wealth. You shall have my daughter fair. If this Spanish ship you nobly sink and ease me of my care, as we sail by the lowlands low. By the lowlands low, as we sail by the lowlands low. Then boldly the land did he leap into the sea, and an auger very sharp and thin he carried carefully, and he swam the mighty billows till he reached the Galilee. Where she sang by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low. Where she sang by the lowlands low. Then bang to the ship the little hero hide, and he begged the crew to haul him up upon the larboard side. You can sink for me, you little dog, the ungrateful captain cried, as we sail by the lowlands low. Was there ever a tale so sad as this tale of the sea, 
where we sail by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low, where we sail by the lowlands low. <laughs> Australia you ever did see 
The sun it went down and the clouds did resign Then I left the fair maid of Australia I left the fair maid of Australia When I left the fair maid of Australia Just when the sun went down Now six months been over and nine been come this pretty fair damsel brought for the fine sun. Oh, where was this bar they could not be found? And she cursed the all that she lay on the ground in the night of the plains of Australia. In the night of the plains of Australia, where the maidens are handsome and gay. It's a young fellow from the north country, and he came a in to me. He promised he'd take me up to the Northland, and there he'd marry me. Come, bring to me your father's gold. Your mother's wealth, said he, and the two best horses that stands in the stalls, where there stand thirty and three. So she brought him out her father's gold, her mother's wealth brought she, and the two best horses that stood in the stalls, where there stood thirty and three. She mounted on a milk-white steed, him on a dapple grey. Many miles they rode till they reached the sea, so long before it was day. Come late, come late, from off your steed, deliver him now unto me. For six pretty fair maids I have drowned you, the seventh one you shall be. Come strip me off your fine silken cloths, and all your jewels, said he, for better I sell them for what they are worth. Then they rot with you under the sea. Oh, stay, oh, stay, you false-hearted man, And turn your head, said she, For not fitting it is that a ruffian like you A naked lady should see. So he turned his head, while she undressed to where the leaves grew green, she caught him by the small of the waist, and she flung him into the sea. He plunged high, and he plunged low, and at last the side reached he. Oh, save me life! My pretty fair maid, and my bride you shall be. Lie there, lie there, you false-hearted man. Lie there instead of me. For if six pretty fair maids you have drowned here, the seventh one has drowned thee. So she mounted on her milk-white steed, she led his dapple grey, and fast she rode till she reached her own house, just as it was breaking the day. Now the parrot that was in the window so high, looked down as he saw her ride by, oh, where hast thou been? 
a willful child, some ruffian has led thee astray. Don't prittle, don't prattle, my pretty Polly, oh, and tell no tales of me. A night cage shall be made of the glittering gold, the door of the best ivory. Why shout is so loud, my pretty Polly, so loud and so early, Polly. Oh, the cat has climbed up in the window so high, and I fear that he will have me. Well done, well done, my pretty Polly. Oh, you've changed your tail well for me. So thy cage shall be made of the glittering gold, the door of the best ivory. Thy cage shall be made of the glittering gold. And the door of the best ivory.
My dog and me went out last night for to view this invitation of jumps air and away she run till she run into my plantation she hollered and she squealed and she made a noise but something stopped her hollering lay still lay still you pretty little puss for your uncle's just a coming. Now I picked her up and cracked her neck and put her in my pocket, saying I to me dog. Time we was gone for the gamekeepers are coming. Now I go on to some laborers house. I'll ask him what he gave me. One crown a brave I will give to you, brave boys, if you will bring fifty. I'll go on to some public and there I will get me a lie. I will spend this crown and another one down. Ain't I a hearty good fellow?
you'd be wise before you go. Do you open the pane and pop out the flame just to see how the windy blow? When the north wind roughly blow, then I lay right snug below. And I open the pane and pop out the flame just to see how the windy blow. When the wind comes from the west, it will blow hard at the best. So I open the pane and pop out the flame just to see how the wind do blow. Now a wind that's from the east isn't a good to man nor beast. So I open the pane and pop out the flame just to see how the wind do blow. When the south wind softly blow, there's not enough for you to go. So I open the pane and pop out the flame just to see how the wind do blow. My wife, she said to me, we should star if you don't go. So I open the pane and pop out the flame just to see how the wind did blow. So all you fishermen bold, if you live till you grow old, do you open the pane and pop out the flame just to see how the wind did blow. On the 14th of February, we sail from the land in the bold prince as royal bound for Newfoundland. She had 40 bright seamen for a ship's company when bold from the east boys to the westward stared we. Now we had not been sailing scarce days two or three when a man from our masthead strange sails he did see. He come bearing down on us for to see what we were. And under his mizzen black colours she wore. Good Lord, cried our captain, what shall we do now? Here comes a bold pirate to rob us, I know. Oh no, cried our chief mate, it ne'er shall be so. We will shake out our reefs, boys, and from our we'll go. Now this bold pirate, he over long side. With a loud speaking trumpet, whence came you, he cried. Our captain, being up, my boys, and he answered him so. We come from fair London, and we're bound to Carew. Now caveve up your courses and bring your ship too. For I have a long letter to send home by you. I shall hive up my courses and I shall bring my ship too. But it will be in some harbour, not alongside of you. Now he chased us to windward for all that long day. He fired shots after us, but none made no way. And he fired shots after us, but none could prevail. For the bold prince as royal soon showed them a tale. Good Lord, cried our captain, now the pirate is gone. Go ye down to your grog, boys, go down, every one. Go ye down to your grog, boys, and be of good cheer. Whilst the bold prince have sea room, brave boys never fear. Thank you. 
she stole the keys of her father's prison and said, Lord, by it, she would set free. Now have you got houses, have you got land, and does not stumble and belong to thee? And what would you give to that fair young lady that out of prison would set you free? Yes, I've got houses and I've got land, and I've no stumble and belongs to me. I would give it all to that fair young lady that out of prison would set me free.